Hey, today is Pear Deck Day. I've got two videos coming out on Pear Deck, and this one right here, which is a full-length, longer tutorial on how to build lessons, how to customize them, how to deploy them, how to use that data to uh, kick some class, but there is a 60-second quick hit Pear Deck video that's gonna be right up there. Uh, once that is all linked up, if you wanna just click on that, be like, hey, is this something I'm even interested in? Then come back to this video for the full review. So let's do it. Hey guys, I'm Brian with Ball Guy Sci, and we are here to help you kick some class, whether it's in ed tech or science or just teacher development and growth, maybe even tutorials for students. So as I said, kicksomeclass.com. Hey, we got three different types of videos coming out every week. We have Monday motivational quotes, we have full on tech tutorials, and then we have these 60 second ed tech tips that I do on Fridays. I hope you check all those out, but right now let's jump into a full review of Pear Deck and how it can help you kick some class. Let's go. All right, so first of all, what is Pear Deck? Well, I'm gonna jump over to PearDeck.com. So we just type in a Pear Deck and hit Google search, and that's gonna jump us over to Pear Deck. Now, what Pear Deck is, is it layers on top of a presentation software. So uh, I belong to a Google school, so I'm gonna be using slides, but this also works for Microsoft Teams, um, all sorts of things like that. So what it does, it layers on top of a Google Slides presentation, and it allows you to add interactivity, either student-paced or live with students, um, for you to get some formative assessments, some feedback, and some engagement for students in your normal presentation. So it allows you to take any existing presentation that you already have and kick it up a notch to kind of get kids engaged with that presentation. So here we go. If you go over to Pear Deck, what you're going to do first off is you're going to hit Teacher Login. You're going to connect this to your Google account. And once you connect it to your Google account, you're gonna see a couple of things. Number one, you have this Pear Deck for Google Slides, which is what I'm using, or maybe your Microsoft Teams. You have pop-up activities, which just allow you to throw out there a prompt or something, some vocabulary, uh, and then they have a training involved here. Now, I'm gonna go down and show you also one more section that you'll see once you have some completed things, and that's this present from Drive. Each one of these things I have down here, uh, this is the one I'm actually presenting today with my students. I didn't name my session, but you can name your session so that they make sense to you. I can restart a student paced lesson right on the fly and send that link to students. I can start another live session if I have a second section of the same class, if I'm in you know, um, middle school or up. Or I could take a look at a session that I completed by clicking on the dashboard view. So now when I click on the dashboard view, what's going to happen, it's going to bring me back to what I see when I'm presenting live, except now when I click on a feedback slide that I have here, I can see what students have done, what they've answered. So maybe I want to wait till the end of the week and then pull back out all of the information that I've gotten from students throughout the week and just have a session with particular students, maybe a little group, um, or maybe I wanna go ahead and talk about some of the things that we all came up with and generated a list or, or maybe some misconceptions that students had throughout the week. So I can look at the data and figure that out on my own time and plan my next lesson accordingly. So that's where that's gonna be found. I'm gonna go back here just so you can see when I'm back here, that's also available up here in the sessions. So that same thing that I clicked on, I can go to sessions at the top or help. I can archive them. Well, let's get into building a lesson with Pear Deck and what you're going to do and then how you're going to engage that with students. So I'm going to hit create a lesson. All right, so I'm going to jump in right now and I'm going to show you how to build a lesson with these uh, connected activity slides. OK, so first up at the top where you have your add ons, if Pear Deck doesn't appear, you just click add ons and go to Pear Deck for Google Slides or Microsoft Teams, whatever it is, and open the Pear Deck add on. Since mine's open, I'm going to hop over there and I'm just going to click on it. And when I do, I'm going to get this toolbar to pop up on the right hand side. What you're going to do is you're going to look at it, a template library or you can just go with some really basic ones. So if I want to ask students a multiple choice question, I can click this. Now, remember, click is not a preview. It's a create. So it's showing me how to create a multiple choice response. So I'm just going to throw out there a series of choices for students. 
let's say I'm working on the skeletal system that I want them to choose between compact bone and I'm going to update the slide. So now it's adding that interactive question and when it does, you're going to notice that there is a bar here. Okay. So this bar down at the bottom has students are going to choose an option. Now you can add this to any slide that you already have. Um, and it, it doesn't create a new slide. So this particular slide now is going to show up with a question on it for students. And it's going to give me and my dashboard some feedback from them. But I would say that's the way where you already have a great presentation. You just want to be able to add a little bit of interactivity to it. But if you're looking at engaging students asynchronously where they're going to work through this thing on their own or you want to use Pear Deck to drive your classroom environment like I do, then you're going to want to go up here to the template library. So now they have right here lesson builders at the beginning of the lesson. Maybe you have a bell ringer, right? So I'm going to pop a bell ringer in there. And I actually have a different format of a bell ringer, but you notice it created an entire slide with places that are customizable. So every one of these things are customizable. As long as you don't delete this bar on the bottom, that's connecting to all the goodness that's going on in the background. So I'm going to go up here to find my seat, take out my device and in Pear Deck answer like so this is the way that a lot of people might run their class and once I get it customized the next thing to do is to just either go on and keep building your lesson or when you're all done because there's other things in here um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the lesson so when you engage the lesson with students what you're gonna find out is that when you click this it's gonna ask you a question first hey do I want to engage this student paste or instructor paste so if you want and you can switch back and forth between the two when you're presenting so here's what I do I'll put this out as an instructor paste session and then if there's a point where I realize some kids are gonna take longer than others I'll switch it at the bottom to student paste tell them they have a certain amount of time to answer all the questions they can and then I'll switch it off and then they are all back with me on their devices but here's what happens in the back end if you're not really sure one, you can send a link to kids or they can just go to join PD as in join pair deck PD.com and they put in this code that's randomly generated. And this is your dashboard that's floating out here right now. It'll have all your slides on the left with notes about the slides. Those get a little bit obnoxious, but you can just close them. And then when students respond to something, you actually see letter by letter them typing on their screen. So down at the bottom, it, you know, it says no responses. I don't have any students in this example. But if I had seven students in my class at that time, because we're split into a cohort A and B where I'm teaching, that if I've got five kids working right along and two doing nothing, then I know they're probably not engaged. So I can go back to my Google Meet and be like, hey, so-and-so, you know, you need to get cracking on that. Or I can give them live feedback on this session. So what I do is I share my screen, the screen that's in the background, and I pull this little guy up right here for me to look at. So as they're working, I might be looking at their responses and saying, hey, Joseph, you know, that answer you've got, that question about the image is really interesting. So the rest of you guys, here's what Joseph said. What do you think? And then we can get some actual dialogue going back and forth based on what they put here. So here's what I think is great about this. It gives kids two options to interact or engage with a lesson where there's different social risks. So some kids maybe don't want to have their camera on, but you can tell they're engaged and working even if they're not really comfortable showing themselves on camera. Or some kids don't want to use their voice and speak, but they can type, type it in the chat or they can put something in here in Pear Deck. So uh, here's the basic idea if you're looking to go back as a review. Number one, uh, once you get into Pear Deck and you engage that add-on, you're going to build a lesson, you're going to customize the slides, and then you're going to engage that with students. Now, when you're all done, down here at the bottom, you're just going to click End. Okay, uh, and you'll get a chance to name your session. But just because I mentioned it, I should show you the three little dots. I'm going to uh, turn on student paste mode. So if I had, I did this today, I had two questions. I knew some students were gonna move through them quicker than others. So I turned on student paste mode for two minutes. I put a timer up. When the two minutes was up, I pulled it down. So I'm gonna go turn on student paste and it's gonna give you this little like, hey, you know, you're doing that. Yeah, I know, I'm good. 
And it still looks the same to me, but down here at the bottom, it tells me I'm in student pace mode. Then I just hit stop. It brings them right back to me. If I want to lock their screens, I can. I, I, I haven't done that yet. But then when I'm all done, I hit end. And you can name your session. So maybe this is just test session one or, or it's Monday period three, however you want to do it. And then uh, you just end your session. I'm going to end it without naming. So as I showed you in the beginning, it's going to bring me right back here. But if I go back to my pair deck, I'm going to ignore this. Now up in my sessions, that one that I just did is going to show up. So if I want to go back and review it later on, it's all going to be right there. So that's how Pear Deck can help you turn your normal slide deck type presentations into interactive, more engaging, formative assessments, feedback, student paced lessons, whatever it is that you're looking for to really help you kick some class with this remote teaching um, or just individualized instruction. So I hope that was helpful. Hey, I hope you check out all the other content on our YouTube channel, like our Monday Motivational Quotes, our full tutorials like this one. And we also have 60 second ed tech tips where I just pare things down as fast as possible so I don't waste your time. Those come out on Friday. So check that out. Check us out on kicksomeclass.com and I will see you next time. See you later.